put your mic up on. They can't hear you. Thank you. Now cut that light on right now. No, they're not. Okay. All right. Here. Wait a minute. I'm not strong enough. That's a microphone. It's not a light. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. You're listening. You are listening. That was cute. That's the only one I'm showing. You are what? But I thought you were just asking me. All right. Are you ready? All right. All right. Here we go, folks. Very first time this has ever been done. She is going to sing God Bless America. At the same time, I sing You Are My Sunshine. And we're going to do this at the same time. Sequentially, together. Oh, the royal mess up. The royal mess up. All right, look at me. Oh, Be oh, serious. <laughs> okay. Bad choice of words. All right, here we go. Wait, I thought you had one of those cards. That you could walk. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. It's God's will. You never heard it. How much I love Okay, now we're ready to go. I'm going to sing God Bless America, and she's going to sing You Are My Sunshine. Sunshine. You don't know You Are My Sunshine. Sunshine. Do you know God Bless America? Not very well. Not very well. Okay. 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 Ok
looked at her mouth and said, well, her teeth looks pretty good. <laughs> so he sat him down. He said, well, I'd like to check her eyes. So he lifted him up again. He in front of her eyes. Her eyes moved. She said, well, looks like you can see pretty good. Said, uh, if you just pick me up, I'd like to check her hearing. <laughs> so he picked her up and he snapped his fingers and her ear twitched and the other ear twitched. He said, well, she looks pretty good to me. And he walked around the side and he says, uh, say, if you'd give me a, a boost, I'd like to sit on her. <laughs> what? I'd like to sit on her. Oh, sit on her. <laughs> so he, he boosted him up and said, well, she sits pretty good. <laughs> and she he does what pretty good? She sits pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and he dropped got down, he walked around the back of the horse, and he looked at the rear leg and said, I just need one more favor, he said, if you, if you <laughs> give me a lift, he said, I'd like to see her twat. <laughs> and the guy picked him up, picked up the horse's tail, and shoved his face right up the <laughs> and the fella, the fella pulled his head back, the jockey, and he shook his face. <laughs> Oh, me! What a poor choice of words! I want to see her twat around the twat! was that story you were telling? Uh, they asked me, said, where, where, how did I get in touch with Doris? Where did I get in touch with her? I said, on the school bus. And I said, she, uh, I saved a seat right by me on the, on the driver's side. And I'd come there a lot of times and somebody else would be sitting in that seat. I said, no, you got to move. <laughs> <laughs> so when I went to, I asked her to, to marry me. She was kind of shy, you know. And uh, I said, uh, I said, I'm going to ask for you tonight. That was one, one night that I was there, Sunday night. Well, I didn't get my nerve up to do it that night. So I, I went on, went on to a couple, a couple more times I went over there. I said, uh, a mother's name, Susie. I says, it's cold tonight, isn't it? She said, yeah, it is. Have a chewing gum for Miss Susie. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that chewing gum got That's started. That's where it got started. I've been mm -hmm. giving chewing gum the rest of my life. Oh. And uh, that's where we, I don't know whether she even told me she'd give it to me or not. But I never asked no more. <laughs> Must have been. No. <laughs> <laughs> and how old were you guys when you got married? I was 19. How old was Aunt Doris? Uh, she would have been 16 in uh, September and we were married in something. April. Uncle Nate, you know something? Uh, Bert and Ray and I, we were going to visit this thing right here. 
and Soda Springs. <laughs> but we landed at Salt Lake City, Utah. Now that's a long way from here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We had some time to kill before we were, in fact, we were going to spend the night in Salt Lake City. So what we did, we went to the Mormon Library, the Genealogical Library, the largest in the world. And we got up on about the third floor and all these millions of volumes of books. And we went over to the South Carolina section. Then we went to the Barnwell County section. And I found this book, uh, Deaths and Marriages in Barnwell County. That's where we got married, right, right down to the uh, And let me tell you, I opened that book and it was the one-of-a-kind book. It was the original typewritten pages. And I turned to the G's real quick and the first thing I saw was where you and Aunt Doris got married. Yeah. And uh, the the uh, the preacher was named Swindler or... Was no, he was a judge, a probate judge. Judge, but what was his name? Uh, it was... I can't, I can't. But anyway, it had the date and uh, Doris Kane and William Nathan Gardner and right underneath it, the very next name that was typed in there was when Granddaddy married Mammy. Mm -hmm. I mean, right underneath it. Was it soon after Uncle Nathan? And I've got... Yeah. It was? Yeah, but after my mother died, he, he married in 30 days, I in think. In 30 days? That's what I heard. That yeah. Did it, did that ruffle some feathers when pa Granddaddy got married yeah. within 30 days yeah. after the death of your mother? Can uh, I remember uh, Carrie went to the... She went to the cemetery, and she brought back a flower uh -huh. and put it on the pillow where they would go sleep that night. There's that, that flower up on there. Oh, my goodness. It, and it wasn't dead. It was alive. Now, Leela Odom, which was Mammy. Yeah. Bunky tried to tell us, fill us in a little bit. Was she the housekeeper when... Uh, well, she was there. When your mother was living? Well, she, my mother took her in. Okay. So they they didn't, it was, didn't have nothing to eat. Now, she had two kids of her own, didn't yeah, she? Yeah. That, that was Romy and, Romy and, and who? Byron. Now, where did Calvin fit in here? Well, that's uh, my daddy's... Uh, Brother's son? Sister's boy. Okay, but Calvin, Wobby, yeah. Wobby Roundtree, he was he was just one of y'all. That's right. I he mean... Just like, he raised him just like one of us. Can you tell us the story of seven, 17 Pine Cemetery, where Bertha is buried? Do, do you know anything? We talked no, about it the other day. He no, said that he could go there. I could go to it, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, they, they don't even have a road into that. Cemetery. No, it, it's no. tough. It, we yeah. had to go in with Bush Axe, and, but yeah. we, I talked to Joe Templeton. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a group of all of our first cousins. We're going to go down there and clean that cemetery out and put that road back in and put a gate and put 17 Pines' name on it you know, if we can legally do it. Well, you, I don't believe you can because it's not needed to them. Somebody they said Uncle said. Jeff Hare... Yeah did not record the did deed because of that. Deed. But I believe the owners of that property will allow that. There's over 100 graves in there. Yeah, I know it is. There's an Odom family graves. I mean, those are new markers in there. Under my, my uncle Arthur. Uh -huh. uh, G.W. and Ada, I remember that. Ada. Mm -hmm. And I, when I found that tombstone of Benjamin Fuller Gardner, our great-granddad, your grandfather, then and only then was the time that I knew the name of my dearly departed great-grandmother, Alicia. I think that was the name. I called Aunt Doris, and she said, yes, I know her name. Doris, Doris knew it. She Isn't could remember of the thing. And I have all of those dates, and I'm putting that together in a family history. And uh, I'm going to be calling on you to help me fill in some of the pages, the missing links, because okay. your dear mother... And our dear grandmother is buried there with just a little broken cross. That's right. And they said it was just the axle wheel of a, a carriage that marked her grave. <laughs> and Aunt Fanny went down there and put in a little, just two little pieces of one by two, forming a cross with a single nail painted white, and put it down in that broken axle marking your mother's grave. Mm -hmm. And I've got all the dates and everything, and I'm going to have a stone made that says, Beloved Mother. Of and I, and I might you know I'd love to put all five of your names on there. There was Isaac Franklin, there was William Nathan, and there was Alice and Nellie and Fanny and who have I left out? Nobody. Nope. That was the the fearless five. Five. <laughs> five. The fearless five. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh. Show me that again. <laughs> the fearless five. 
<laughs> now, I'm telling you. I want to hear the uh, story again about the schoolyard and yeah. you sticking up for Pappy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, every afternoon we'd get out and this Herman Camel, I think you know him. And uh, so. so he'd push him in the and to get his stickers, stick his feet, and uh, what do what we call those things? Cockleberries. No. Cockleberries. Yeah. Cockleberries. He'd, he'd push him out there and he'd be barefooted, you know. Didn't have any shoes, huh? No, didn't have no shoes. I didn't know what shoes was until I was 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he kept picking at him, so one day he uh, hurt him. And I reached, I jumped up and I grabbed him around. I got a headlock on his, I wasn't six years old. Good, crazy. How old was Pappy? Huh? How, how old he was He was about seven. It well, wasn't about a year, close to a year. Yeah. A little, a little better than a year apart. So I got a hold of Claude Camel and I got a, 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 a clamp with my arm around his neck. Choke hold, huh? Yeah, that he couldn't. <laughs> get loose. He remembers to this day, huh? Yeah, I, I saw him about three years ago and he says, he says, you know, Nate, says, I never will forget that whipping you put on me. He says, I never, <laughs> I never had nobody put a whipping on me like you did. Well, what was Pappy doing? He was bigger than you. I know it. He just, he just wouldn't fight him. Oh, my goodness. You would, though, yeah, huh? I would shoot, yeah. I would <laughs> being so, uh, I, I grabbed him around and I beat him into his face, his nose, his eyes. Well, tell me something. He couldn't catch my hand. I had it going so fast. <laughs> tell me something. There was, let's name all the kids. Now, when uh, Granddaddy was married to Elizabeth Hare, the first marriage, I think. Isn't that right, Elizabeth yeah. Hare? There was Aunt Elizabeth, Aunt Carrie, Aunt Ida May. Ida May is the oldest. All right, Ida May, and Aunt Carrie. Elizabeth, Carrie, yeah. and who else? Aunt Elizabeth. Aunt Elizabeth, and then Sam. And then Sam. Mm -hmm. And then, when she passed away, Granddaddy married Bertha Viola Whetstone, right. who is your mother. Right. And there was then uh, Isaac, mm -hmm. then you next, and then who? I know there's Nellie, uh, Fanny. Fanny. One passed away between and Alice. And Alice. Yeah. Okay, there was another that yeah. we never knew. What was, it was a boy I, child, wasn't it? It was a girl. It was a girl? Yeah. I never heard that. Yeah, she uh, lost her. Uh, at, at birth or what? Yeah. Okay, and then after that, when uh, Bertha Viola passed away, Granddaddy married Mammy, and that brought in two more kids. That's now, right. what I'm going to ask Mammy's you, name. what was it like, Leela Odom? Okay, thank you. What was it like to have that many kids around the dinner table? And what well, were you allowed to do? Were you allowed to get the food, or did yeah. the grown-ups sit down and eat first, or, or what? Well, we were getting the racket sometime, and Leela would go to Papa and say, Bennett, your children and my children's fight now with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. That's right. Your children, my children's fight now with you. I'm telling you. Because there was a there was a there was a pile of them there. That's right. And at what time let's see, I remember the I remember Mammy cooking on that old wood stove. Mm -hmm. I mean it's just a solid metal top and it would get red Warm morning stove. Yeah. We used to have a long table in there. Yeah. Real long for everybody. That's sit. right. We are bringing back some old memories. <laughs> and uh, he was just saying that back when they would get around the dinner table with Aunt Elizabeth Hare's children, that's Uncle Sam, Aunt Lizzie, Aunt Ida, Aunt Carrie, and, and, and uh, Bertha Viola's children and Pappy's, mm -hmm. Uh, granddaddies, that would be our father Isaac and, and this dear beloved man right here, Nate, and Aunt Nellie, and Aunt Fanny, and who else? Huh? And Aunt Alice. Yeah. Aunt Alice, yeah. And then we left out Mary and Martha somewhere. That's that's later. Well, that's that, that's, Leela's, that's her child. That's sure. Mammy's yeah. children, but granddaddy was the father, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And we left out some, Mary and Martha. They lost they another one, too. Just like it they lost another. Yeah, they lost yeah. another yeah. child. Gene, what he said was that, that Mammy would come in there and say, Bennett, 
your children and my children are beating up our children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love it. He just told us a story about when he took up for Pappy. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to be able to share beautiful stories like this. And I'm going to come back to South Carolina. I don't want to put the bad thing to it. Now, do you have any bad stories? I sure have. Now, Pappy told us a few bad stories. I want to know the secret of the smokehouse that used to be on the far end of the house. Had a swimming pool in it. Had a swimming pool in it, and Mammy never would let us go in there. It was all locked up. Well, the, the sausage and everything would be hanging up in there. Pappy said that's where he got his whippings. Yeah. Did you ever get a whipping in there? No, I'd run out from there. I, I, I could be where I could always get going. Now, tell us just one bad story. I mean, where you were no, real this, bad. this is too bad. I couldn't, I couldn't. Now, wait a minute. You didn't kill anybody. I come out of there. No. <laughs> Don't tell anything now that you yeah. can't tell. Well, I, 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 what I'm telling you is truth. Okay. So, we, uh, you, want to, you want to know it? Yes, sir. We can edit this out if it's real bad. My dad but I bet it's not so. Leela never would let Romy go into the... Woods, we we uh we did logging in the winter time, see. And uh, one day she came in there. Uh, Papa came get his get our lunch. And when the, he he didn't take time to get the lunch, he turned and came back to the woods. I said, "Where's our lunch?" He says, "Well, Leela is nearly about killed Nelly." Goodness. She's got up with a. I left my whip where I used it on my mule, and she popped it and cut her head right across. Oh my the goodness! And uh, I didn't say nothing. I had a, a young mule that was just breaking in that day. I unhooked him, and I didn't ask for the truck or the car. You jumped on that mule. I got on that mule, and I wasn't. I could make time quicker to get home. I never seen such a, a movement that it was moving when that mule was moving and I jumped off him. And he was running. I went in there and Leela says, now don't you start no stuff. We were scared of her. I remember as a kid we were frightened don't, of her. Don't you start no stuff. I said, no, you ain't gonna start no stuff. I said, well, I, uh, I'll give you what I'm gonna give you right now. Driving down to the reunion and that screen porch and he was always sitting on that porch reading his Bible yes, and right. he would write in the margins yeah. everybody that came. Everybody that came. Everyone. Put it down and uh, you'd always have a pig on the, on the pit. on the pit. Yes. And we, I was out there barbecuing. Do you remember the old Chevrolet truck and the name of his business? What he had written on the side of each door? Uh, if you don't remember it, I can tell you. Well, go ahead. Evergreen. Evergreen Farm, wasn't it? Was no. Some... It may have been now, but what I remember was uh, uh, B.F. Gardner, Fancy Produce. And he would come up, load it with watermelons, cantaloupes, and everything, and we would set up a little roadside stand, he and I, right there on Abbeville Street and uh, Gadsden Street, and we would sell watermelons and cantaloupes. And, and out of that, I think it was a 1936 Ford pickup truck. It had B.F. Gardner, <laughs> fancy produce. And I remember when the blacks walked through the neighborhoods with the nice fresh shell butter beans. That was good. <laughs> nice fresh shell butter beans. And they would have a, a, a can. And they would just dip down, and then they'd sell them by the number 16 can full for about, I don't know. Hello? I don't know how much they cost. 25 cents. Something like that. Give me five, five. Well, Uncle Nate, you, know, you just don't know how wonderful it is to sit back and share memories like you have I, I, to I us. hope you don't show this. Hey, I won't. I can edit. You gonna show, Let me tell you something. It's going to be shown far and wide. Yes, it will. You're going to be famous. You are, I, I'm talking about this yet. That I'm shaking. Oh, no. Of. Hey, uh, the no. mammy thing, no. we can cut that out, but let me tell you something. No, that won't be shown. The beauty of that story, and it sounds like it's real hard and bad, but let me tell you, the love that you have in your heart, you forgave mammy after that for what she did, and Could she you, forgave you for you what know, she did. 
that's the reason I stayed down there for 10 years after Doris and myself was married. Where did you she live? Had, uh, my daddy built me a house right down in front. front that's there. right. I remember that. Yeah. And, uh, On down toward the springs there. Yeah. So Not Healing Springs, but the other yeah, spring. Yeah. So, uh, that's something I wanted to say, you know. The reason you stayed down there so long? For yeah, 10 years. Uh, and Doris had to suffer to take care of my two children, my two sisters. My goodness. Fanny and Nellie. No, no, Nellie and Nellie. She, now, she always loved Fanny. Nellie and Nellie. Yeah, Nellie and Nellie. And so, well, where was Mary and Martha and uh, and my daddy, Romy and uh, she wouldn't hit my nearly no more, but she got my daddy to. Whoop. Oh my goodness! Hey, Granddaddy so, could lay on a whipping, couldn't I he? I know it. And it, the last time that he gave a whipping, he had a hose pipe beat. My goodness! And so now I know where Pappy got his whippings from. He used to whip me. He'd go down the backyard and cut down a tree. And, Alice, and then go buy me a bicycle or something after whipping me. He had some kind of psychology. He, uh, Alice they came work. running they down work. to my house and says, Papa's about to kill Nelly with a oh beat. My God. Let me ask you about the WPA days. Pappy used to tell us about he worked down there on that swimming pool. You remember the swimming pool back there, right where the property that you bought eventually? Yeah, yeah. What was the story about the swimming pool and the WPA? Were you there then? He said yeah, he was paid fifty cents a day or something. We we uh, built that road uh, to go right in front of it. That's the road to sell now. The remains of that old swimming pool the is bottom. still right there. Oh yeah. What about Healing Springs Church and the baptismal pool way back behind it? Yeah. Did you ever go swimming in there? <laughs> yeah, it was too cool. How many? But we'd go in there twice a day. I remember I'm, going I'm, down there as a kid, and some kids were in there with soap, and they had that water so soapy that that they couldn't do a baptism that Sunday. <laughs> it was so much soap in it. Taking a bath. Yeah, <laughs> but that was the coldest water. I mean, you couldn't stay in there long. I'll tell you, Uncle Nate, we love you. I I'm going to cut this too. off now. Oh, we love you so much. I love you too. Give me five. There you go. Okay.